Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure security for AIF Web Services in Microsoft Dynamics AX. I have already installed um, Web Services on IIS and uh, in Microsoft, Microsoft Dynamics AX is AIF Web Services, which I'll show you in a second that where I installed. Now the next part is that we need to configure the security um, uh, and uh, put our service account and give full permission to that particular service account so that we won't run into permission issue when we run the website. So let's go in the server. This is my server, this is IS Manager and if you can look right here, this is my website uh, website that I just um, uh, created um, using uh, creating web services on IIS so right now uh, you can actually go ahead right click and edit the permission from here or best way uh, and recommended way to do it if if you go click on computer go to see uh, my programs and Microsoft Dynamics AX 60 and you will see a folder called AIF web services you need to right click on that go to properties and go to sharing and you need to click on advanced sharing and click on permissions so what we're gonna do right now is the network services and Microsoft Dynamics AX web services administration so we're gonna go ahead and add the service account in my case is a account that I am using as a service account is cluster admin so I'm going to go ahead and add that and and give uh, full permission to uh, this particular account so click on full and change and read hit apply click OK and apply click OK and close so this is you configure the security what happened is that uh, whenever um, the service account will try to run this website it'll have all the permission and you won't run into um, permission issues so this is how you configure the security of uh, AIF web services in Microsoft Dynamics AX again you can right click in the uh, IS service manager and go to the permission uh, and um, uh, do it that way but uh, the way that I showed you is much more easier and uh, also it confirms that uh, you have added a particular service account and it has all the permission that it needs to run this website I hope it helps